Jim Son is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up, going through some quarterbacks who are undervalued based on my rankings for the 2021 season. The first one is not going super late, but he's going later than he should. That's Lamar Jackson, currently the QB3, but he is my QB1 for this year. And the reason is I'm expecting Lamar's passing efficiency to tick back up this year. They added Sammy Watkins into the fold and drafted Rashad Bateman in round one. And if you give Lamar Jackson passing efficiency with what I'd expect to be still good rushing volume, he is going to be a star for fantasy so QB3 is not late but still later than he should be as he is my top ranked quarterback for this year. The second guy I want to touch on is Dak Prescott. Similar to Lamar, not going super late, but lower than where I have him ranked. D- Dak Prescott, for me, the QB4 for this year, and the reason is he kind of has everything you want in a quarterback. There's some rushing there, specifically near the goal line, and I'd expect there to be a lot of efficiency this year for the Cowboys. That offensive line is healthy once again. They've got those three wide receivers back as well, and they showed last year that when Dak is healthy, they will air things out. So Dak Prescott is the final quarterback before I have a teardrop off, and I think that he is actually higher than the QB5 for this overall season, so Dak Prescott to me, worth his draft slot because of the upside he possesses as the potential QB1 for the season. If you're looking for a later round guy who is undervalued, that guy to me is Baker Mayfield. Baker is very much in the QB2 discussion, which is where he should be. He should be after the rushing quarterbacks for this year. But once you're in the QB2 discussion, I think Baker's efficiency for this year should be pretty good. That offensive line played very well last year. Now Odell Beckham is back, and it's year number two in Kevin Stefanski's system. The concerns with Baker are about passing volume. But as Stefanski showed last year, he's malleable. They aired it out down the stretch, and they were efficient and it led to big success for this Browns offense. So if Baker continues to play well, which I do expect, I think that they should be able to throw the ball more than expectation for this upcoming season. So Baker should go behind the rushing quarterbacks for this year, but does grade out well once those guys are off the board. And QB 20, far too late for a guy with his efficiency. That'll wrap things up for today's FanDuel Hurry Up. I am Jim Sauna saying so long for today. Back again next week to talk some undervalued running backs for 2021.